This is a video of how to use a silica gel kiln. So I just made this cup from a green log of birch half an hour ago and I'm going to dry it in a big bucket of silica gel beads. So to show you how it dries the cup I'm going to weigh it to show how much moisture it's lost and I'm going to use a moisture meter. Uh, so with these two I should be able to show you that um, it does a quite a good job at removing moisture. Okay, so first the moisture meter, you turn that on and try and get it in the cup with one hand while holding the camera, it's not that easy, but there you go. You can see it's hovering at about 28% moisture. So next, weighing it. So we've got some digital scales here, turn them on. There we go, so 176 grams. So this must be the most simple kill in the world to use. You literally get the cup, take the lid off and put it in. You can see that the beads are orange because they've got a dye in, um, which shows that they're still dry. And when the cup puts out its moisture into the beads, they change color to a bluey green color, showing you that uh, the moisture has left. So you just put it in, Get it right down there, make sure every part's covered. That's it. Lid goes back on and jobs are good. So we'll leave that now overnight and check the next day. So 17 hours later, let's have a look. So you can see there's the uh, beads that have changed colour because of the indicator dye in them. So that means they are saturated with moisture. Let's pull the cup out. There you go, you can see they're all saturated. That's all the moisture that's come out of the cup. Let's have a little check of the cup. So uh, initially you can't see any splits. This is normally the uh, scary bit when you have a cup. Uh, you spend a lot of time on and you check it and see if the dreaded cracks have happened. And on this one, thankfully, absolutely none. So on this bit of wood, I chose uh, a weird bit which had a branch going through the bottom which is normally a culprit for spitting. And as you can see on this, the branch is going at a diagonal across the bottom, but absolutely no spits around it. So let's do the tests. First, the moisture meter. So around about 8%, so it's lost 20% moisture overnight. And then the scales. 1 to 6 grams, so it's lost about 50 grams of moisture. So what is silica gel? Apparently it is just porous quartz, quartz as in the stone. Um, this particular um, bucket of silica gel um, has a, a dye in it which indicates when it is saturated. So as you saw in the video, it turned from an orange colour, meaning it was dry, to like a greeny blue colour. Once it's all greeny blue and it's fully saturated with water, you can recharge it. So you can put it in an oven, in a tray, heat it up, moisture goes, and it should go back to being orange again, and you can reuse it. Um, I've not had to do that yet. I've dried about 20 cups in this so far, and it's still going strong, which is really, really good. So it seems pretty efficient actually, uh, certainly for drying cups, which are perhaps weird things to dry because you've got different thicknesses that you're trying to dry all at the same time. So millimeter thick walls versus centimeter thick handles. And it seems to have done a really good job on all the cups. I had actually no splits whatsoever on all the 20 cups that I have, I've done so far. So if you give it a go, uh, let me know, uh, see if you have the same success as I've had, 
and thanks for watching.